I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Taos hum, people. Make it stop. I've got tinnitus. And uh, sometimes I, it's weird. It, if you have it, you have tinnitus, tell me if, in the comment if this happens to you, if you have tinnitus. Sometimes it's bad, and it's, like, really annoying. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's not so bad. I don't notice it as much. And the second I, do, I realize that's happening, it's all I can notice. I, I, I sleep with an app on that makes noise, a rainstorm, a thunderstorm, because I can't, it, it distracts me from the hum. It's, it's a tone, it's not a hum, it's a, uh, if you have it, you can know. I don't know where, I, uh, I do know where, I, probably from concerts and playing loud music. It's probably where I got, anyway, this is different. The Taos hum, make it stop, Fatali. It says on here, sunny, vibrant, and burning. I like it. Uh, well, we're going to do a top 10 list today. A really cool one. But listen to this. Taos Hum, make it stop. Hot so uh, the Taos Hum, make it stop hot sauce is made from peppers that are grown without the use without the use of any chemicals in the warm uh, soils on the west face of the Sangre de uh, Cristo Mountains hand harvested and blended in Taos, New Mexico. Well, that's pretty cool. Here are the ingredients. Fresh African fatali and yellow ghost peppers. Sugar rush, uh, walking chop farm, from walking, all from walking chop farm. All right, very cool. Apple cider vinegar, uh, white wine vinegar, salt, azorbic acid, acid uh, vitamin C, less than 1%. All right, that's what's in it. So listen, we planted a handful of seeds from our brother Frank and harvested a crazy amount of peppers. The Fatali peppers is bright, surprisingly hot, and has a strong citrus finish. How cool is that? The strange mystery of the Taos hum has been solved. Only some can hear it. We promise you will taste and feel it, and nobody can make it stop. How much can you handle? It's kind of cool. They have a... Uh, this is their... I gotcha. On, the, on their label here, they have a list of their different hot sauces and how they scale. This is their second hottest, it looks to be. Um, and we are going to do a top 10 list. As you saw on the thumbnail, top 10 list of the Taos Hum. I'm going to do... Uh, let me tell you the. Uh, these are the. Let me uh, open it and. Here's number ten. The hum. The origins are unknown. All right. People have been saying they've been hearing it since the 19, early 1990s, when residents of Taos, New Mexico, reported hearing a low-frequency noise. Oh. Wow, you know what? It's beautiful. It's here's what it smells like to me. Pepper mash. It just smells like a yellow pepper mash. Not even yellow. My eyes were closed. I couldn't tell if it was ready. It just smells like pepper mash. There's nothing going on there but peppers. Let's make it light. Let's get right here. It makes my mouth water. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Enjoy with caution. That's what it says. All right, we're going to taste this. Let's go to number uh, nine, though. I'll shake it one more time. It's a global influence, all right? While Taos Hum is most commonly reported in Taos, New Mexico has been reported in other parts of the world, including Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, and elsewhere. You guys know that? Beautiful aroma. Here's the thing. I think this is going to be one of the things that you're going to be a pepper to lo lover to like this. I have a feeling. I could be wrong. Ghost peppers are hot. Fatalities are hot. Here we go. Taos Hum, make it stop. I'm Johnny Scovo, and this is Chase E.
if, if you're a pepper lover, you will absolutely adore this. My phone dropped and I caught it. That was great. Um, let me tell you about this hot sauce and we'll go on with the list. Now, there's, yeah, this is really, hang on a minute. I've learned over the years of having reviewed hundreds and hundreds of bottles of sauce, sauces. Sauce makers, when they use multiple uh, vinegars, it creates a kind of complexity. Honest to goodness, it's so true. And uh, they have, uh, that's what they do here. They have uh, apple cider vinegar and white wine. And you have the, it's very, very straightforward with the ingredients, right? All you have is a couple of peppers, right? You have yellow fatale and ghost. Oh, excuse me, African fatale and, ghost, and yellow ghost. And sugar rush, all right? In spite of only having, that's it. That's it plus the two vinegars. That's it, all right? In spite of that, it is very, very complex. It's, it's a beautiful thing. If, you, if you're a pepper person, if you dig peppers, you're going to absolutely like this. You'll love it. Heat on it. It's not crazy hot, okay? If you're not a chili head, it'd be crazy hot. If you've never eaten hot stuff, you wouldn't taste it. You know what I mean? It would just be hot. You wouldn't enjoy it. That's it. If you're a chili head, though, I don't know. This would probably be a... Uh, I don't want to say seven, probably a six. Somewhere between a five and six. Five, uh, there'll be some chilies that'll call it a five and up. All right, I was going to say six, but it's a lovely sauce. And, and you know what? It's a very pretty sauce as well. It's got a lovely burn. Let's get back to our list, all right? Uh, number eight, it can have disturbing side effects. The Tao Sama uh, and similar low-frequency noise phenomena have been reported um, to have a range of disturbing effects. Some effects vary from person to person, but uh, some of the most commonly reported symptoms include the following. Sleep disturbance, anxiety and stress. Physical symptoms include headaches, dizziness, nausea. You know what? I'll bet you if you... I should have done research on this. I didn't. Uh, you know what? I bet if you researched the Tao Sama compared to just um, tinnitus there's a correlation as far as the you know I'm sure people with tinnitus have sleep disturbances it's bothered me before it's affected me falling asleep once I fall asleep it's not bad but I, uh, it's been a lot better since I've started playing the th I've been playing the thunder thing for at least a decade uh, the thunderstorm app um, anxiety and stress I don't think it causes me anxiety and stress headaches and dizziness and nausea I never get headaches I'm never really dizzy ever if I'm nausea, it's not because of, you know, it's because of peppers, too many peppers they've eaten or something. So, nah, maybe not. I don't know. It's just flashed into my head. Who knows? Number seven, conspiracy theorists love the hum. They love it. Love the hum. Conspiracy theorists suggest that the hum is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. No, not at all, but a deliberate action by certain groups or individuals. Some of the most common conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theories surrounding Taos Hum include, are you ready for this? It's a government involvement. There's government involvement. Uh, some people believe the government is behind the creation of the Taos Hum, either through secret military operations or through other clandestine activities. Some theories suggest that Hum is related to mind control. Mind control. Mind control, I'm kidding. Um, or population control. Population control, huh. Uh, another one is that it's extraterrestrial in nature. Some people believe that the harm is caused by extraterrestrial activity as the use of uh, alien technology or the presence of underground alien bases. Let me know what your thoughts are on that one. Number six, it's an artistic muse. Despite the disturbing effects of the Taos hum on uh, other similar uh, low frequency no uh, and other frequently uh, low fre frequency noises, it's the Taos hum people. Uh, on people and some individuals have found inspiration in the sound. 
There are several reasons why some people uh, may find the hum to be artistic inspiration. One is uniqueness. The hum is a unique and unusual sound that can be difficult to replicate or imitate using traditional musical instruments. Um, it can be intriguing and inspiring. The other one, atmosphere. The constant low-level sound of the house hum can create a distinctive as atmospheric mood. Who am I, it's, listen, it's about my pay grade. Who am I to say? Number five, it may, might be impacting the environment. How about that? The Taos hum and other similar low-frequency noise phenomena have raised uh, several environmental concerns. I know it's killing me. I'm stressed about it. Uh, some of the most significant environmental concerns include the following. Noise pollution. Half the people can't hear, right? The constant uh, low-level uh, sound of the Taos hum can be considered a form of noise pollution which can negatively impact human health and the environment. Prolonged exposure of noise pollution has been linked to hearing loss, stre uh, stress, and other health problems. It may sound like it's a, you know, motorhead concert or something. Most people say they can't hear it anyway, and they're going to say it's noise pollution? Who's saying that? Come on now. All right, the next one is energy use. Some sources of the hum uh, are believed to be associated with energy production and transmission, such as electrical transformers uh, and power lines. Who am I to say? Number four, it seems to be nocturnal. I didn't know that. One of the common characteristics of Taos hum and other similar low-frequency noises uh, is the sound is often most noticeable at night, typically between ni uh, 9 p.m. and 8 a.m. Probably when there's no tra less traffic, right? Things are not co more quiet at night, right? Gives you a better chance to hear it, right? Six, you know, rush hour, no one's hearing anything but rush hour. I don't know, maybe it's just me. All right, there are several reasons why this might be the case. You ready? Ambient noise levels. During the day, there we go. Ambient noise levels in urban and suburban environment are typically higher due to traffic concentration. See, I told you I didn't read this. Uh, and background noises can mask, drown out the frequency. Yep, sorry. Next one is human perception. Uh, human hearing is most sensitive during uh, to low frequency sounds during the evening. Number three, you can't record it. See, you can't record it. Now, for, if you're a skeptic, aren't you going, aha, see, there you have it. If you can't record it, right? I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not. I wouldn't say that. One of the most puzzling aspects of the Taos hum and similar low-frequency noises uh, is that the record, recording the sound using traditional audio recording equipment has proven difficult, if not impossible. Uh, there are several. Uh, there's a, here's I only going to give you one of the reasons why this is the case. Low-frequency sound, the Taos hum is typically 30 to 80 hertz, uh, which is below the range of human hearing. This makes it difficult to use uh, conventional microphones and recording equipment typically designed to, to capture human sound, audible stuff we can hear. All right, number two, uh, some label it as a hearing disorder. Those are the naysayers, right? Some scientists and medical professionals have proposed that the Taos hum and similar low-frequency noise phenomena should be classified as a form of hearing disorder or tinnitus. I really didn't read this. I guess that makes that part of it fun, right? Here we go. Tinnitus is when a person uh, perceives. Don't tell me perceives. I'll kill you. I hear it. I hear it. Uh, tinnitus is when a person perceives a sound in their ears or head with no external source. The sound can be ringing, buzzing, or humming, often associated with hearing loss or damage. Some some researchers have suggested that the Tao Sam may be a type of tinnitus triggered by exposure to low fre frequency sound waves. Interesting. I've been in Albuquerque several times. All right. I never heard it. You know, I do have tinnitus. It's weird. It, it, it's, I'm really careful now when I go to events. I, I usually, the last time I didn't wear ear, uh, ear something in my ears, it's stupid. It was an eerie. You figure I'd know better. Because I've I never ever wore ear protection at concerts, and I've been to a lot of concerts. I remember uh, yeah, 
I went to a gun range with a buddy of mine in Texas named Carlos. Great guy. I've reviewed his uh, brother's uh, salsa on this channel. Wonderful guy. And I'm left-handed, so I hold the rifle this way. Right-handed people hold it. 90% of people that shoot, probably more, are right-handed. As a result, most rifles are right-handed, which is the ejection port. If it's an auto, a semi-automatic, the ejection port is this way, right? And you're firing it this way, so it's going away from your body. There's a report where it slides back and the spent casing flies out. Well, when you're left-handed and you're shooting a right-handed weapon, it's right in your ear. It, it just, it, it's, it's going right here across. From you. you have a gun this way. Anyway, spent the day uh, with a, you know, spent, I shouldn't say the day, spent probably an hour, maybe two, which is a lot of time at a range. And uh, it was an outdoor range. And I, I didn't have adequate protection. And the next day, my I woke up, my ears are ringing. I'll never forget this. The, the day after, I woke up, my ears are stirring. I was scared. Day three, I got up, and my ears were still ringing. And day four, it got up, it was still ringing, but not as bad. It, was, it faded away a little bit. But And I know I had issues before that. It was a lot of concerts, you know what I mean? I saw motor, we saw Motorhead in a teeny venue. When I say teeny, I mean there might have been, I don't know, it was teeny. It was, uh, it's in Burlington. I can find out how big the place is. Soldier Stadium or Soldier something. I'm going to find out how big that place is. It was packed, but it's a teeny, 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 teeny venue. Smallest venue I've ever seen a good band ever in my life. It was like a club to see Motorhead and Frank Zappa. Isn't that a weird combo? But I got that. Hum, so that's a strange thing. But so there are some. There are ten really cool things about the Taos hum. Anywho, uh, this is a great sauce. It is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna, it's one of those sauces. I'm, I'm. I figure. I'm figuring out what to have lunch based. Oh, I know. When I have a good sauce, and as I'm doing the video, I'm starting to think what I can make to put this on. That's a good sauce. So if you want some, please go to the description box. You'll see a link. Now, the thing that I was going to save to the end, I'm cutting my goatee. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this right now to show you. I am going to cut my goatee. I'm going to do it with scissors. Now. I want to show you guys something. All right. This is where the goatee usually stops. It's because I have it wrapped up and wrapped around it. So let me show you something. Maybe this is the thumbnail. I'll put scissors right here. Maybe that's the thumbnail. I'm going to cut this I'm I'm going to I'm going to cut this in a video in a live stream. What day am I going to do that? I don't know. You let me, in the chat today's what? Monday, today's Monday, right? All right. In the comment section, let me know what day is going to be best to do this. I'm going to cut it live on video with a pair of scissors. Let me know what day. I'm thinking Tomorrow, I have Uncle Bull Cow, okay, for after the burn. Um, we could... We could do it Wednesday or possibly Friday or maybe even Saturday. But I'm going to hack this thing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Tell someone you love and be kind to somebody. In the description box, you'll see the link for Taos Hum. This particular one is Make It Stop. Tell someone you love them. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.